Good evening, everybody. Ty House, along with Jody Flummersfeld tonight, we're bringing you the action as the Tippecanoe Lady Red Devils make the trip over, and the Greenville Lady Wave will play host to them in a Miami Conference battle tonight. Well, Greenville coming in 1-5 overall, Tip City 2-3 and three overall. Both of them looking for their second win in the conference. And um, tell me a little about this Tip City team tonight we got. <laughs> um, I wish I could tell you more. I wish I could tell you more. Um, they've, they've had a couple games canceled, and then they've had some injuries. Uh, there's, there's a lot to be said. Um, the team on paper that was supposed to come back is not who they have back right now. So there's still a lot of question marks with them. Um, but going based off what we do know, you know, they're going to be fundamentally sound. They're going to handle the ball well. They're going to play good help defense. Um, they're going to be a nice ball team. I look at stat-wise, and stat-wise, we're pretty even if you look at that. Turnovers, maybe they got a speed on that piece of the pie. And that seemed to be our, gets us out of our offense. Last few games have been coming around, but we get things going. And I thought the first quarter against Butler was probably our best quarter I've seen us play all year. Yeah, absolutely. And unfortunately, I just think when you play a bunch of young kids, and meaning young, not not a lot of varsity experience kids, those are the growing pains they're going to have. So it is good to see the glimpse of what we can be. Um, and really on Saturday, there's a lot of things we need to work on. But when you go 11 of 23, 11 of 24 from the free throw line, you lose by five. Like, you know, there's another one we could have had right then. Um, I, I think just we're going to have the ebbs and flows the whole season and some good things and some things we got to continue to work on. But um, I think we are better now than when we started this year, and that's that's really all I can ask for right now. And it's constant improvement, especially like you've said for a young team. And you've been around coaching long enough. You know what you got and how it's going to be developed, what it looks like a year, two years, or three years from now. Right. The good thing is, as far as what produces in a stat column, you know, they're all coming back next year. So that's the exciting part. It's just we got to get through this year. Um, and we're down one right now. We're going to get her back in a couple more games. So um, it's always a little more comforting when you have your whole team with you. It sure is. makes practice better and also a little confidence factor and gives you a little more depth, especially if you have one of your starters uh, out right away. So I know the boys are going through that rig and roll right now as well. So... Anyway, should be a good ball game. Tip City always comes in, as you mentioned, well-coached team. You know, we have well-coached teams, and your, your team's been playing very, very hard. Your defense, I, I'm really pleased with your defense so far this year. Man, they go after it. And the crazy part, I don't know if everyone knows, is we're always about two inches shorter than everybody we guard. At every position, we're always a few inches shorter. So, um, actually, I think the one compliment we get game after game is um, how hard we do play. And, I, you know, I give the girls a lot of credit to that because – when you're not winning, that's a really easy thing to see go. And um, honestly, our practices are still competitive. They still get after it. They like being there. They like each other. So, um, yeah, it's it's even though we're not winning, there's just so much improvement that's been had that it still makes it fun to be around yeah, at all. So they like to get along together and have fun along the way. That just builds for the rest of the season and next year. Right, exactly. exactly. Well, okay, thanks, Coach, and good luck tonight, Rachel. Jody will be back for more pregame comments in a moment. Body Ty House along with Jody Flummersfield bring you the basketball game tonight as the Lady Way play host the Lady Red Devils from Tippecanoe High School. Should be a good game tonight. Tip City coming in two and three overall. Greenville one and five. Both teams looking for their second wing in the conference right now. So Tip City comes in with uh, a team that, according to Coach, is a little on the injured side. They haven't really played together as a, the team they thought they would have this year. Their best player is uh, Mackenzie Chin's when they played a couple of plays. She's a transfer in from Tecumseh and really helped this ball club out. So it be interesting to see how we do tonight. So uh, Tip City always is a well-coached team and uh, should be a good ball game. Yeah, Tip City has a reputation of being a very good team from way back. Even back when I played, they, they had nice teams. And uh, Greenville, they played hard last time I saw them was against Eaton. They played real hard that night and hopefully they've gotten some a little more maturity and some improvements since then. So give them a good contest. We played a real tough uh, Butler team, and like Coach mentioned at Butler, the, we played a, our best first quarter of that game, and we lost to Stebbins, a game we probably should have won. We were only 11 to 23 from the charity stripe, so things like that, with, uh, and we're averaging 23 turnovers a contest, so you can eliminate those a little bit and uh, do some foul shooting, you're in the game at least a couple games. The team plays hard, as you mentioned, and we have all seen improvement on this ball club so far this season, and they do play hard. Their defense is stout. They, sometimes they face like the uh, opponents are usually two inches or four inches taller in every one of our positions, and that, that makes it tough at uh, rebounding and putting the ball back up and in. Yeah, Greenville, unfortunately, doesn't have much height and um, probably not exactly a true point guard. So if they can get by with some of that and eliminate, like you said, the turnovers, it should make for a better contest tonight. And Lonza Kins continue, continue to improve, and 
and they get along and they do that, so it should be exciting. Anyway, Jody and I will be back with starting lineups in a moment. Okay, we'll get ready for the introductions of tonight's starting lineup. Again, Tip City coming in, dressed in black, trimmed in red and white. Home standing wave in the white, trimmed in hunter green. So our starting lineup for tonight for the visiting Tip Canoe Lady Red Devils coming with a record of two and three overall, one and two in the conference. Starting for the Lady Devils, number 10, a five foot three junior, Madison Moran. A five foot nine sophomore, number 11, Laney Kleckner. Number 12, a six foot senior, Ashley Aslogi. Number 23, a five foot seven senior, Olivia Spiller. And rounding up the lineup tonight, number 34, a five nine fresh, or sophomore, excuse me, Samantha Wall. Again, that is Moran, Kleckner, Oslagi, Spiller, and Wall. Under the direction head coach of Christina Pataudi for your home standing wave. Starting number five, a 5A junior, Gracie Thacker. Had a real nice game last week. Scored double figures her last game and double rebound. Nice, nicely done. Number 12, a 5'5". Five, five, Junior, Skyler Fletcher. Skyler leads the way for scoring 11.7 points a contest. Number 13, a 5'4", is Junior, Minoxi Pandy. Minoxi, second leading score at 10 points a contest. Number 20, a 5'0", Junior, Josie Camacho. And number 23, a 5'8", Senior, Lily Hayes. Under the direction of Coach Rachel Kearns, a wave coming in 1-5 overall. One and three in the Miami Conference. Now I might mention the referees for tonight. Alan Kramer, Daryl Manson, and Richie Moody. We thank these gentlemen for doing the game. Without them, there would not be a game. So we're happy they're here. Got a nice game for Gracie Thacker. Had a double-double. And with, uh, you know, our other big girl, Megan Lind out. Right. That, uh, she's got to step up a little bit. And she did last game. Boy, the boys have been on the uh, decimated uh, attendance. And uh, in terms of pe people being able to play, and the Greenville Lady Wave just now starting to get healthy, except for Megan Lynn. Tip up goes the tip. And they'll start it. The wave the starting out in the man-to-man. -man. played a good man-to-man -man last time we played. They Really aggressive. There's trouble with the height underneath is the issue. Filler drives, won't go. Rebound battle for out off Oslagi, I believe. He waves ball. Either Kluckner or Oslagi, both of them are battling under there. Interesting play there a second ago, trying to get the girls <laughs> untangled without a foul. Backdoor cut. Oh, had her. Just a little high throw, and uh, Skyder would like to have that ball back, I'm sure. Yes, she would. <laughs> Timed that well, just a yeah. little high, a little high. Early game, uh, not jitters, but all pumped up, adrenaline flowing. 
Oh, Madison Warren runs the point for the Red Devils. Again, their leading scorer and uh, probably their nice. best overall player, Mackenzie Chin, is uh, hobbling around with a, a knee brace on. I'm sure they'll be glad to get that young lady back. Get transfer in from Tecumseh, averaging 13 and a half a contest. We've only played a couple games so far. That was a nice double down Greenville on defense. The wave defense has been pretty good. Hit him on Oxy. Lily Hayes with the ball up, won't go, got a foul. Nicely done. That was a nice grab. Good strong player. The foul's going to be on number 11. Lainey Kleckner, it's her first, of course, team's first. Going to the line is Lily Hayes. Lily averaging two points a contest and a 73% free throw shooter. Got that one. <laughs> Senior sets or sights. Got it. Oh, in and out. Should count that as a half. Beckner brings the ball down and well, with Tip City will set it up. Madison Warren runs the point. Over to Spiller. They're really trying to battle in there. A little height advantage uh, underneath. Yes, yes, trying to post up uh, the wall girl on, yeah. on Minoxi. Take a long shot up and bought it. I watched her warm up. She hit quite a few threes in her warm up. And basket by number 11, Laney Klackner. Her first points the contest, and Tip takes a 3-1 lead. Macho with the ball over to Pandy, top of the key. And they'll set their offense up in a weave. Good defense by Tip. Oh, right there it is. Nice. Oh. You're going to have to catch that ready to shoot. Oh, about a, a walk there, but we'll take it. Nice drive on Minoxi Pandy. That was pretty. Good, strong move. Ducked right through. Yep, ready to play. 5 4 Junior. Again, from the height standpoint, Way will be traditionally out height in every game yes. they play, but pound for pound, they give her a go. Shot from the outside. Yep, she's going to have to box go. out. Oh, turn around, jump shot. Nicely done by Samantha Wall. Two points, 5 3 your score. Tip on top. And she's got four inches or better on Minoxi. She's going to have to All really get do. low and <laughs> box her out. All of them do, unfortunately. Nice drive, won't go. Good defense that time by Klackner. Kind of pick it back up, and uh, Klackner will start the offense over to Moran. And waiting to what the defense sets. Not close enough for five seconds. Nice move by Moran. Good defense helping McPandy. Oh, wow. Ooh. I got Skyler for reaching in, I believe. A good helping defense. Just got caught reaching in. That is going to be Skyler's first. Team's first. A little tic tacky to start the game here. Yep. There's a lot more blood drawn on the reserve game than yes. on that foul there. Timeout, Greenville. Well, we have a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here. Your score, Tip City 5, Greenville 3. Welcome back, everybody. Timeout's over. Time in starts. See stage crews in uh, Neon, I think that's the yes. thing tonight. Neon is the... Safety, Safety Green. Safety Green or Neon. <laughs> we asked DJ Zimmer before, and he said, thanks, Neon Night. <laughs> Well, Tick will take the ball out of bounds. Olivia Speller, 5'7", senior, do the honors. Pass it out top. To Moran. Oh, get Chins in the ball game. 5'3", junior. No. Joseph Camacho is going to get called for that foul, I believe. Yep. That's her first team, second. The shooting foul. Madison Moran goes to the line. She's only shooting 25% from the Cherry Stipe, averaging the point of contest. First one's up, and she got that one. Early in the season, your percentages will change quite a bit. Different stance. Second one's up. That's a little long. Rebound. Oh, nicely done by Tip. Won't go. That's Loggy. Battle for. And Tip will come out with it. 
That's unfortunate, but just a little bit of height advantage there more yes. than anything. Spiller tip, tipped it back a little bit and got away from, from Lily Hayes. Well, look, she drug her foot there. Nice drive to the hole. Won't go. Oh, wide open shot. Looks like it picks up our first two. 8-3. Weak side rebounding is a little bit of a problem right now. Yeah, that was uh, too easy. Nice cut. Nice. Boy, that was a tough shot. That was a real tough shot. Boy, nice job. Gracie Thacker picks up her first two. Gracie averaging over five or four point eight contest. Yeah, the pass was just a touch late, and boy, it made her bend backwards. To... That's whoa, that's out. Oh, I thought that went on the uh, black. Well, that's two calls. I'm going to work for him, and we'll talk <laughs> about that after the contest. <laughs> Gracie Thacker averaging five point three rebounds a contest, second only to Megan Lynn, who's averaging five point eight for the wave. They recognize nice left hand move. Yeah, she's left-handed, so have to recognize that when she makes that turn to the inside. Mm -hmm. yeah, Greenville's got some really nice cuts to the basket. Yeah. Look at a foul on. That foul's on uh, Skyler Fletcher. That's her second foul. Third team foul, two fouls on Skyler Fletcher. Well, they didn't mark it up there. They did I originally. Think... Must have called out an ice loggy. Let's see. <coughs> they called out on the ice loggy, I guess. Uh, it's only one foul on Skyler Fletcher. Uh, called out on uh, board's not right. I think it was on her fighting through the pick. Yeah, I saw Monoxy Pendy on the ground. Oh no 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 no! Tough pass to make. Said Monoxy, good defense. Good job, thirteen. There's a reach in. He got away with it. Hit it. Boom. Oh. Chin with the rebounder on the run. That would have been nice. She had a good look. Uh, quick move, nice play. Wow. Ready play. She put that in another gear mm -hmm. and then went right by it. Ah, uh, crossover right into the hands of Kleckner. Chin gets the rebound, up won't go. Well, he just out hustled us down there that time. It's going to be a foul against Emily Bowling, her first. Team's third. She's going to go to the line, the smallest one out in the well, she's not the smallest, almost one of the smallest ones. We got the smallest. Five for two, Josie Camacho. But she did a nice way drive to the hoop there. 77% free throw shooter. Boy, got that one. As a team, they're shooting just 55%. With Mackenzie Chen shooting 70. Wow. <laughs> yeah, nice form. Up. Yeah, good player. We've got Avery Ballins in for the game for the Wave. Five foot four freshman. Ah. Right idea, just a second late when we made the step. <laughs> it's a turnover for the wave and tip will get the ball back. And we've got number 32 in the game too, Allie Boring. Couple people in there, new, cut, and oh, nice save by Chin, good hustle. Wide open. Good ball move at that time by a tip. Samantha Wall picks up her fourth point. We've got to get some balls and scoring here. 16-5, double-digit lead for the visiting Lady Devils. Get the 
Maybe get some offense going. Drive to the hole. We got a blocking foul. 34. That's going to be a blocking foul on Samantha Wall. That's her first team's third. I think the Wave can get some more backdoor cuts because Tip really extends their their zone. Oh, nice move. Nice there. inbound pass. Yep. Defense that time by Ballman. Good job, Skyler. Whoa. Way ball. Good defense, Skyler. Fletcher that time. Tied up Boring. And just Boring's just a little bit bigger lady. Yes. And just uh, Skyler went to the ground and Boring helped her up. Good sportsmanship. Just a good hard play for both players. The well, is going to run the point for the wave. Just a freshman. Back to our cut. Nice pass. Yes, a pretty play. Timeout on the court for some reason. Referees. Well, we know it's not a shot clock violation. Oh. Well, let's see what they're calling here. So it's under control. I see Ron Hosap was involved, so <laughs> it's under control. Clock must have not been running or something. Something, yeah. Looks like they're plugging something in. Technical difficulties. Well, while we're uh, fiddle farting there on <laughs> the clock, we'll call a reserve contest. Laura German's team fell 28 to 20 to Tip City. Scoring for the homestanding wave, Lauren White had two points. Two points, Josie Madden. A point for Elsie Fugate. Four points, Maddie Hutchins. And she plays a hard... They had a yes, nice she game did. down there. Mm -hmm. Really liked her underneath. Uh, Ella McClear, three points. Ava Loudy, two points. And uh, Kaylin Gump, six points for the wave. Came got when they had one point in the third quarter, and they battled back in the fourth and made it they a contest. Did. And uh, Tip City was able to close it out at the charity stripe primarily. A lot of freshmen play, sophomores on that JV team. A good ball club. Kaylin Gump had a three-pointer go all the way down and all the way back up and out. Yep. Would have closed it to, I think, four points at that at that point. And then we had a foul. Would have been a big difference. Oh, something. Oh, here we go. I tell you what, we got a timeout in the court as they fix the clock or something. We'll take a timeout here. Your score. Tip City 16, Greenville 7, with a minute 37 remaining in the first quarter. Well, whatever it was, technical difficulties, hardware was exchanged out, and we're back in business. Inbounds of Kleckner, and uh, she'll get right back out to Spiller. Number 20's in the game, Kelsey Connors. For Good Jeff. defense. Knocks a penny, nice couple plays here. Get she's out height by about 20 pounds and 8 inches. <laughs> Somebody go to defense. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, rats got around Skyler. Oh, oh. missed a shot. There's the box out underneath our weak side. Let it Just go. There, box. Go. Okay. there you go. Okay, yeah, right. Weak side's getting yeah. off. Need some help over there. Probably a turnover or a missed shot. Wave will we'll get the ball to bounds. We have Ballman, Packer, Bowling, Fletcher, and Candy. Nice drive. Oh. oh. Well, we've missed two layups. Yep. Should be way ball. I think one out on tip. Oh, 
Moran checks back in and uh, getting a breather is Celtic Connors. See Moran, it could be Morin. I apologize. Ah, oh, rats. Good defense. We had a tall timber guard yeah. to Knoxley. It's tough. Can't throw up. You gotta, you gotta bounce down. Thirty-four. We caught a foul. It's Tip City. That'd be uh, Samantha Wall. That's her second on the sophomore. Thirty-five seconds remaining. We need a basket right here to keep this. Tip switch into a one-two-two. Yeah, and they got Azlagi. The long arm went out front. They're getting trapped in the corner. Good defense. We're in trouble. Swing it. Swing it quick. Wait. Hit it. They should get a shot off if they play this right. That wasn't bad defense to end no, the quarter. Good defense. Okay, it's the end of the first quarter. Your score, Tip City 16. Your wave seven. We'll be back with second quarter action in a moment. Is there anybody else's fault? I mean, just she, the experience. Welcome back, everybody. 16 to seven, your score. We're getting ready for second half action, or second quarter action. Any stats from the first half of our first quarter of Noteworthy Interest, Jody? Yeah, on the waiver. Like we said, they need to get on the weak side there. Uh, one rebound makes a, a big makes a big difference there. And Tip City with seven. Wow. Yes, a lot of extra shots there. Chin in the game. Bauman's got that. Tough pill to cover. Good defense play, staying that man to man. Good helping. Fouls on uh, number 13, Noxie Pandy. That's her first, team's fourth. Chin uh, goes the line. She's two for two from Cherry Strike, four point or six points so far tonight. Just a quick guard to the hole. And yes. Control. Slicer. Five foot three junior. Gets it up, and that won't go. That's amazing. That's one of the few she'll see her miss. Skyler is off the offense. Back to Bauman, and she'll set it up. Nobody moves. Ooh, yep, you got to have break away. Gonna be out of bounds. Wave. Foul's gonna be on number 11. Manny Klecknitz, her second. Team's fifth. Tip seems to pack in the key pretty well. I'd like to see him pass and flare a little bit instead of pass and cut sometimes. Yeah. Maybe get open on a flare. We're gonna have some other outside shooting. You know, yes. you know, if we're gonna pack it like it, bigger boys, you gotta have take that shot or look for that outside shot if you penetrate, kick it back out. In, a little bit inside out. Yes. Fits the offense up here, so we can get something different started out. Tries to back door cut, doesn't go. Minoxi Pandy has a pick. Chin takes it from her. And she's and quick. She is very quick. Good defense. Oh, that's going to be a foul on Gracie. Two foul. Team's fifth. First foul on Thacker. Checking in is Camacho and uh, Hayes. Look at Hayes. Taking a break. Minoxi Pandy and Emily Bowling. 18 7. Back 11 point lead. Wave had it down to nine a little while ago and just can't get that. Got to get a shot Next that ball, to, can't get it to fall, or we had two two pretty nice layups that we missed. And away from it, shooting just 30% from the uh, field this year. 
Oh, for another, another backside, weak side rebound. Rebe board. Yeah. That foul is going to be on Bo Bowman. That's her first. Or Bauman. I'll get it. Sorry about that. Oh, we've spread the fouls out. At least nobody Bauman. has two. Yeah. First one's up. Won't go. She's just a 33% free throw shooter. You mentioned that the rest of the team struggles a little bit. Yeah, you get rid of uh, Chin, the rest of it, we have an opportunity. Got that one, and he does. And Allie's averaging three points a contest and picks up a first point tonight for the Red Devils. Well, we got to get a basket here. Wave just uh, averaging 34 points a contest. Trying to find that. That offense consistent. Nice drive. High off the glass. Rebound. Lily Hayes battles for it. Gonna be a jump ball. It's gonna be possession arrow. Greenville. Good hustle 23. But Lily Hayes is a typical, a really blue collar player. She is. Don't get a lot of scoring, but she does a great job on defense and battles in there. Consistently out, out height, but steady player for the wave. Co-captain. I had Lily's sister Allie in the eighth grade, and she had never played before. And boy, she mm. just battled. That's gonna be another tie-up. This time it'll go to Tip. 5:48 remaining in the half. And we're just trying to get some offensive going here. Field goal percentage for Tip is only 32 percent. So t with Chin out of the lineup, it's, they're actually not shooting that well. Right. Nice strong move. Way to go, Lily. Hang on to it. Good defense picked up by Tip. Skyler had to go. Oh, oh well, she should have taken that. Yeah. What do you got to lose? Yep. Yeah, if you see an open shot, be a threat. Don't. Right there. Oh. Right the foul line, make that shot. Get in there, nice move. Nice move. We needed that. Yes, we did. Skyler Fletcher picks up her fourth point. Been averaging just under 12 a contest. Nice pass. Now that was a pretty pass there by um, Mackenzie Chin. Yeah, I think she's definitely the uh, straw that stirs this drink yes. when she's uh, healthy. Different kind of team. Sure, Tecumseh misses not having her out in the club. That's good defense. Plays the whole game, doesn't she? Yes. Defense and just a junior. It's really tough going inside that paint. Yes. Nice move. Nice move. Oh, wow. Get it. Get it, Gritty. Out of bounds. Off the wave. But your gracious had three decent looks at yes. it. Three moves. You just can't get it fall in for her so far. That's a good baseline stop that time by Bauman. Good help, good help. Bounce out, bounce out. Travel, yeah. one extra step. Nice move to basket. Very nice. If Bauman you, had to come down to help out. Yes. And then, then Noma picked up her man. She had the best out there. And, and if you don't close out on her, she's going to go right by you. That's right. That's what happened. Camacho will take the ball out. So we have Bauman, Hayes, Thacker. Camacho and Fletcher for the wave. Won't go. Rebound battle for Camacho. Hits it. Won't go. Tips over to tip, and here they come. Nice pass. And one. Wow. That was what pretty. A pretty pass. And nice hands by Spiller. She picks up her first two, but what a dandy pass. That foul is going to be on Camacho. It'll be her second. Thank <laughs> you. 
Five foot seven senior going to line. She's 50% free throw shooter. What a what a pretty pass by uh, Chin. I tell you, that, that's a good ball player right there. Timing was was excellent. Just, she made another nice pass earlier. Didn't you know, the girl couldn't pick it up? But wow, got that one. A little bit of a man-to-man -man pressure here, bringing the ball up. Not there. Bring it back out, here we go. Nice yes. pass. Pretty pass, backdoor cut, yeah. Nice play. Make that little penetration move and get the back door off of it. Uh-oh. Good battle in there, Lily Hayes. Nice job. In trouble. That's it. Good defense by Tip. Nice drive. Oh! Take it up, Grace. Hit it. That's going to be the way ball. That'll be Alan Oslager. We had a couple. We had a look at it. Yeah, basket here to get it to single digits. Yeah. That's a good timeout. I thought some of the girls were looking a little tired. Yeah. Well, we have a timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout here with 2.33 remaining in the half. Your score, Tip City 22. Your wave, 11. Welcome back. 22-11, and we'll see if the wave will have the ball out of bounds. We can get this down to at least single digits. Should be your goal before half. Yes, yes. Be huge. Okay, Bauman takes it out. Oh, way to get it, Minoxi. Went to the ball, that's good. Pass to the outside hand, always good. Yeah, it's a good play. Good inbounds pass and strong hands. Scouter Fletcher will set it up for the wave. Ballon with the ball, top of the key. I think she'll be more of an offensive threat. Oh, there it was, nice pick. Wow, Boy, nice she got shot. pushed off a little bit yeah, too. She did, and strong move by 5'5 junior, Scouter Fletcher. Oh, nice defense by Norwing. I got my stats off the uh, off the Miami Valley Conference oh, uh -huh. uh, listing. We'll give her five five. <laughs> <laughs> Question five two five five. five. Could be anything. And she's she's not very oh, tall. Oh, shot rebound Bauman. Oh, she got it tied up. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. yeah. Her and uh, Aslogi got it tied up there and out off the senior from Tip. Aslogi leads the league in rebounding 11 Nice move contest. on the baseline. Nice pass, oh, Lily. Oh, nice rebound by Emily Bowling. I'll tell you, that was a nice move by Lily Hayes. Good pass. Foul is on uh, number 23, Olivia Spiller, her first. Wave ball out of bounds. Team six foul. Wow, good way to come to the ball. Osley again, 11.4 rebounds a contest. That's first in the league. Good right hand, won't go. Rebound, Lily Hayes. Hayes. Oh. Ah, won't go. Wow, nice try, Lily. Nine point lead, stay out of there. Ah, oh, big three point shot by Olivia Spiller. That's her six point all here in the second quarter. 
Puts the lead back to 11. Shoot it. Good pass. Oh. Yeah, brought it down and good picked off by uh, Laney Buckner. Nice defensive job. Quick baseline move. Ah, nice defense. No! As they telegraphed that pass, Buckner picks up her fifth point. And there's a steal by Chin. That's going to be a foul on Skyler Fletcher. Just got lazy with their passes there. That's a third foul on, that's a second foul on Skyler Fletcher. Yeah, uh, Avery Bowman got a little careless the last couple times there. Yeah, she was losing her balance there at the half court and just spun and spun and flung. That's two misses in a row from the charity star for Chen, who has uh, six points tonight. Coach trying to tell her, he's just a freshman. She's going to be a player for us. My golly, missed that one. Well, that concludes the first half of play. Your score, Tip City 26, the Wave 13. Jody and I will be back with uh, second half action and uh, scoring in a moment. We're here at halftime right now at the Wave, and at 26-13, you're scoring for the uh, visiting Tip City Blue Devils, or Red Devils. Six points for Mackenzie Chin, a point for Madison Morin, Five points for Laney Klockner. Four points for Ashley Aslogi. Seven point is five. Six points for Olivia Spiller. A point for Ali Boring. Four points for Samantha Wall. They were just five of ten for the charity strike. Their home standing wave. Two points, Grace Thacker. Eight points, Skyler Fletcher. Two points, Minoxi Pende. And a point for Lily Hayes. Wave one or two from the charity strike. Some other interesting stats. Yeah, the wave uh, in the first half were six of 20 uh, shooting. Rebounds were seven and nine turnovers to Tip City's uh, 10 of 24. Rebounds nine. So we really came back and did a nice job rebounding because we only had one in the first quarter and six turnovers for Tip City. Surely the uh, field goal percentage has kind of got the way yes. right now we're having. Yep. Again, with just 13 points, we're having a hard time finding the basket at least early on. And so. they've been some inside shots. It's not been all you know, three right. pointers right. or anything. Exactly. Well, there's always two halves, and we'll get them in the second half. Yes. So Jody will be back with second half action in a bit. Well, welcome back, everybody. We begin second half action. I think the original starters for the wave, we have Camacho, uh, Thacker, Fletcher, Pandy, and Hayes for your wave and Tip City still getting instructions. Christina Pantati's team coming in tonight, two and three record, looking to even that up. Look the original starting lineup. Now we're gonna have Chin in there instead. We have Chin, Moran, Kozlagi, Hall, and Spiller. Way with the ball. When it cut down to nine points at one time, and uh, by golly, you are able to catch us on that. Or he's going to pick at it, right, Jody? Yeah. He's going to do is kind of just piece back in. We got to get some scoring here. There's a blocking foul. It's on 34. That is Samantha Wall. That's her third. Wave trying to be patient, run a little weave, look for an opening to make a cut. Yeah, we have to patiently attack here. This is we have a hard time getting ball in bounds, don't we? And that's stolen away. Nicely done. Chin does it again. Wow. Eight points. And, uh, she plays both ends of the court very well. The Tecumseh misses her, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice defense. 
And another defense chin takes it away. Uh, definitely a better ball club with her in there for sure. It's a block by Camacho. Third, third, I believe. Yep. Eight points, and she's played uh, chin, and she played some good defense and some nice assists. Just five foot three, she's a little giant out there. Has some Ooh, she he has it left-handed all the way. Did a little jump stuff there. Top the key, three-pointer won't go. Rebound, Thacker. 